Hi everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support on the first episode. That was so amazing to see. I love all of your comments and your likes and new subscribers. It really means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. Um, starting off, the audio corrupted when I was recording. So I am now just doing this in voiceover. So just, just so you know. Um, and I've also played around with my texture pack um, a little bit. So if you see some items that have slightly different textures, it's because I've just sort of been experimenting with different textures. Um, most of them are from the... Um, is it Musino's one? Uh, oh, what's it called? It is the, yeah, Mizuno's texture pack. Um, so I'm not using their whole texture pack. I've just pulled a few bits and pieces out from it that I'd like to use. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that. And I've also, behind me, you can see our little hobbit hole we made in the last episode. I ended up adding the bushy leaves around top of that to just make it look a little bit more lush and overgrown so yeah getting started today um, we're going to work on our mine entrance that's just next to our hobbit hole there but before we do that I definitely need some more like de decorating blocks things like moss and hopefully some azaleas and things generally in lush caves maybe some other wood types just you know, a bit, bit more variety for when we're decorating. So yeah, over here's our hobbit hole with the bushy leaves that I've added. Nothing else has really changed out here. Um, the saplings for the cherry blossoms is a little bit different. So that's the, just, just sort of change it up a bit. I thought these looked really cute. Um, yeah, so heading inside, we had a lot of really great, um, oh, are you okay there, kitty? <laughs> Had a lot of really great name suggestions in the last video. Um, I don't have any name tags yet. Oh yeah, I added the chimney to the um, hobbit hole as well. <laughs> and the barrels have changed and the glow lichens changed. And I've added some custom um, paintings as well. And then added the cherry blossom leaves inside so we get a bit of the particle effect and added a rug under the bed and if you put the um, carpet the wool box sorry underneath the bed and then you can add the carpet to the sides it looks like you've got the bed on a rug and then I also added the cherry sign to the end of the bed so it's like a bed end and then yeah I've added a flower pot it looks really cute lantern the lantern's the same as the Mizuno's one, but I edited it to look purple because I think that's really cute and purple's like my favorite color. And then another custom painting and then the brand new chiseled bookshelves. I don't, I've only got the one book so far, but I'll add more into that. So these are so cute. I just thought it was like a little reading corner. And then over here is just our crafting table and the stone cutter. I'll probably edit this, like change this corner up a bit, but then yeah, we just got some storage here and some glowberries. So <laughs> funny story with the glowberries. I got distracted in between episodes and went into a cave just next to our base and got mining quite a bit and stumbled across an abandoned mine shaft and found some loot in one of the mine carts and then accidentally came across a spider spawner, cave spider spawner, and died. So <laughs> I couldn't get back to my stuff in time because it was still loaded in because it was so close to home. So I lost a bit of the loot there, but then I went back trying to find it, ended up getting a little bit more like iron to replace the iron that I lost and the armor that I lost. And then that's where we found the glowberries. They were in a minecart chest. So I haven't found any lush caves yet. They were just in the chest and yeah so I did die in between episodes and I wasn't recording so oops <laughs> sorry about that guys I honestly should not go caving I suck at it so bad this is why I don't play hardcore um yeah but I was able to get enough iron to replace my armor and my shield so at least that's something 
Um, but yeah, so happy to have the glow berries because they obviously make everything so cute and glowy. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, back to the cat names. Um, we got a lot of good suggestions in the last episode. I just don't have any, I've only got one name tag actually. So we can use that one for one of the cats and then hopefully get more. Some of the name suggestions were Midnight for the Black Cat, which I'll definitely use. That's a really cute name. And then there was names like Misty and Bella and <laughs> Paulie, Lord Biff was a funny one. So I'll decide the other two cats names soon. And then we'll name those when I have enough name tags. So, so in today's episode, we're going to build the bridge firstly, and then build our mine entrance, which is just over here. This is a good spot that's sort of naturally generated like this. So I'm going to use that as the mine entrance. So I'm going to get some stuff together, get organized, and then I'll be back with a time lapse of our bridge. Be right back. So here it is. What do you guys think? It's looking pretty cute and glowy with the sun going down right now, actually. So if we have a little walk across the bridge, we've got our lanterns up the front and then some cute little garden beds on either side. How cute is this? This design was inspired um, by Arichu on Instagram. So I'll link that down below. So now we're gonna get ready to go out on a little exploring expedition. I'm hoping to come across a lush cave. Uh, that would be really cool. Cause yeah, like I said, I'd love some more like vines, moss, azaleas, things that just make the decorating really pretty and cozy. Um, also, if we come across any like more villages or shipwrecks, I'll definitely do some more looting to get some more just general supplies. That would be really good. So yeah, we're going to have a little bit of an explore. So first of all, I'm going to make a pink boat because that'll just be adorable. I think I'll make it a boat with chest so that we can store some of our stuff in it while we're traveling around and knowing me there's a high chance I will die and if stuff's in my <laughs> chest um, boat then at least it'll be safe and won't despawn. So that's a plus. So yeah let's get ready to go for an explore. First of all, we're just going to go have a look around the village across the river from our little spot. I will probably just zoom through this. Turns out there wasn't really much loot in this village. <laughs> Bookshelves will be helpful though. We definitely need some of those. And a lectern librarian villager, that's really cool as well. And oh my gosh, more cats, guys. <laughs> we will definitely have to tame those soon. And even more 
normal bookshelves. We have got so many apples in this game so far. <laughs> Not complaining though. Okay, now let's set off down this river and see where it takes us. Hopefully it leads us to an ocean. Um, that would be really good because like I said, shipwrecks are really like sort of easy ways to get sort of iron, diamonds maybe as well as other treasure. Oh, I can see spruce trees already. That's really good. And this looks like a little birch forest. Oh my God, and dark oak. That's like so many different tree types right here. That's so good. All right, let's just stop here and cut down a couple of trees. I will have to sleep first though. Sure we have enough dark oak saplings because they only grow in two by twos like the sort of four wide trees or two wide trees really four saplings so for each one everyone's favorite tree the spruce tree and the two by two spruce trees are so good because they're so tall so you get so much wood per tree which is amazing i'm also going to take some of this mossy cobble because that will be really cute as well such an easy way to get it oh my gosh that is a woodland mansion just up ahead. That is so close to our spawn area. That's actually a little bit scary. We'll definitely go there one day, but today is not that day. <laughs> oh my God, look at all the little cute doggies and the little babies. I don't have any bones to tame you, but I'll have to come back and get some dogs soon. This looks like it could be an ocean. Yes, this is good. Is that a lush cave right in the open like this? Oh my gosh, it is. This is amazing. A little bit spooky. Hopefully we don't get attacked, but oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so big. Goes down quite a way. I wonder if we could get axolotls here. We'll have to come back definitely, but I'm not gonna get too greedy today because I don't want to die. So we're just going to grab some extra moss, azaleas, and definitely some of these drip leaves as well. They're really cute. But we'll definitely have to come back and explore down further when we've got better armor and tools. Yeah, I can see zombies and skeletons over there. Let's, let's not do that right now. We'll grab some of these moss balls as well because they're um, what we can use to make the pots and the new pots as well once you turn them into the bricks. So that's cool. I'd 
loves four blossoms, but oh, there's one all the way over there, but that's all I can see that might be easy enough to grab. So we'll head over that way. Yeah, there's definitely mobs down there. We'll avoid that area and just stay where it's a bit more lit up. Obviously I'd love as many spore blossoms as possible, but we'll, we'll settle with one for today. We'll also grab some vines off the wall as well. And there's tropical fish, that's so cute. just about enough for today's little lush cave trip. I'll grab a few more drip leaves. Like I said, I don't want to <laughs> get too greedy today and then I go badly. So we'll head out of here in a minute and keep exploring. Lush caves are just so pretty. Using shaders also makes them just look extra good. <laughs> and there's even tropical fish out here. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm just going to sail around this ocean now and hopefully find some shipwrecks. There's a little trick if you guys don't know it. If you angle your camera in when you press F5 at the right angle, you can see underwater. It kind of glitches through the top of the water and it helps you see really clearly underwater. It helps so much when finding shipwrecks. A little bit cheaty, but hey, we're just working with the game. We found our first shipwreck. I um, crafted some doors too, so we can breathe down here because this is a really deep ocean. Yes, lots of iron. We need that for sure. No diamonds, but that's okay. The gold will come in handy when we go to the nether. <laughs> so the shipwrecks can have up to three chests depending on if the whole ship spawns or not. So We'll keep looking, hopefully this one has all three. Oh, we got our first armor trim. That's so exciting. Coast armor trim and a treasure map as well and a clock. <laughs> but yeah, so excited to try and find all of the armor trims eventually in this series. It might take us a while, but we'll get there. I can hear it drowned. And this is where things started to go very wrong. 
I panicked <laughs> and then I died. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and get back here to get all my stuff. <laughs> okay, so editing Elise, cut back to me getting back to our boat. I got a little bit lost on the way here and I honestly thought that all our stuff was going to have despawned. So I was so happy when most of it was still here. Took me a second to realize that a lot of it was trapped down in the boat still. So I had to go down and get it. And they were still drowned around. So it was a bit stressful. <laughs> ended up turning on hitboxes to try to find the rest of my stuff. I was stressing so much. But then I tried to just swim down as quick as I could and saw that all my stuff was just stuck under some of the wood. They thought I was gonna die a second time. <laughs> we came so close. I think we got just about everything back though. We did, like got all the important stuff anyway, so that was a relief. And yeah, that's why I used the chest boat so that <laughs> a lot of the stuff would be safe in the boat. I then basically just hung out in my boat until it was morning. So we're back now and that was just a few other little shipwrecks I found on my way home. So we got some pretty good loot, lots of the iron, which is good. I was so stoked with all of the lush cave stuff we got. So that really adds a lot to our decorating abilities. So yeah, some like drip leaves, the one spore blossom. Moss is the most important thing so we can create more of like the azaleas and stuff and more moss. So that's really cool. Also got, yeah, here's our iron, quite a bit, quite a bit of lapis, a little bit of gold, some emeralds, and our six smithing templates, which is really exciting. We'll have to experiment with those soon. The coast one's pretty cute, I think. We got two saddles, which is cool. And, oops, sorry, midnight. 
and we also got a chest plate. So that, yeah, not bad for our first little exploring expedition, even though I died. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get all my stuff together and we'll go do the mine entrance. So here it is, this is a little area. It was already, yeah, just naturally occurring like this. I did clear out a little bit of dirt from the opening here at the front, but yeah, so I'll just go to put together a little montage of me decorating our little mine entrance. Let's get that going. really happy with how this is looking. I think it just looks so cute and lush and cozy. I love the lanterns and all of the bushes. What do you guys think? I might just change this a little bit here actually. But yeah, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys like my little mine shaft entrance? I'll have to obviously dig out the mine shaft, but I'll do that between episodes because nobody wants to watch me dig down for ages. So yeah, that's our little mine shaft. So now I think the last thing I want to do in today's episode is to build a little um, just basic starter farming area. So I'm going to grab all my stuff together and we will get over and do that. So this is the area that I'm just going to build some basic starter farms. Our little hobbit hole is just over there behind us and also the little village is behind that little hill and tree there. So I'll clear out this area and then we'll get started. We'll probably just plant some carrots and wheat. I guess I'll plant all of them, but obviously carrots and wheat are the, the main important ones.
Thank you so much guys for watching if you've made it this far. Let me know if you have any suggestions of what we should do in the next episodes and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, thank you so much again guys for watching. It really means so much to me and I'm just having so much fun with this series. So I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Thank you so much. Bye.